Hello, my name is John Neal. I'm a chalkboard artist and I'm very pleased to say uh, some of you have bought my DVD, thank you very much, and uh, I've emailed a few people and said that I've put some supplementary stuff on. So here's a few ideas uh, that are not on the DVD and uh, I thought I'd go sort of through the seasons, see how long it takes. Uh, so Halloween's coming up, so I've done a few boards about Halloween recently, so I thought I'd uh, start with one of those. I always seem to like to start with the border, however I might do it. I think today the border is going to be fairly straightforward. Oh, welcome to my studio, by the way. Not inside this time. Um, however I do the border, I'll do another DVD about borders later, but today we'll just do this Halloween. I'm going to try and get at least the top of this fairly straight. So get the line across there and I'm going to sort of be a bit, a little bit loose with the, uh, the lettering on this. So rather than make it very tight I'm just going to notice the, the movement in the pen which I think works quite well. Just get it primed up. Now I'm going to cr cross there so H will be about that big, Halloween, remember how to spell it, uh, but there's a, a sort of a, a ghoulish feel to it. I'm going to just flick it off like that and and then the tops will be more or less straight and then they'll hang almost like a, off a washing line and uh, if they overlap it doesn't matter either H A L O now I've got W uh, about halfway through every letter I always word I always stop have a look see what's to be done and see if I can fit it in I think we're going to be okay. Let's just put a bit more up there. Hello W. Now we could cross the top here like that. Hello no. Double E. There we go. And then we've got to match from the border to the border to make it uh, line up nicely. And that's a good uh, start. I'm not. That end's gone a lot bigger than this. So let me just see if I can pull that down a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. I'll tidy that up as well. Like this. So it's all curves, look. Part in. Just have a, a little feel of how because we want to keep it centered if we can. If you don't, there are ways around it. So I'm going to put Saturday across there, 31st October. Let me see what we can do. Right, put it in orange. Get that this, uh, this is just the, the thin, thinnest uh, pen. <coughs> right, Saturday. Right. Very weak. I have to go over that in a bit. Um, so thirty first. I like to keep the three nice and tight. So I like a flat top there, and then round it around there. Take your time on that. It looks thirty first October. Nicely centered. Lucky. So we'll leave that to dry. Right, I've allowed that to dry a bit, and uh, the orange is a little bit thin, so I'm just going to go over it again, particularly at the top, and uh, you can make a bit of a feature of this and uh, give it an impression that the top of the letter is more uh, a stronger colour than the rest. So we'll do that. Now, the next thing to do, I'm going to put here. Um, a moon so it's going to be a moon at night and uh, that will give then the light source from here will be cast in a light over here and a shadow accordingly so I'm just going to put a big moon here it doesn't matter if it goes and messes this up so let's do do that I must confess I've got a, a lot of different coloured paint. This is a fluorescent orange, which basically means it's just lighter colour. 
I'm just going to go over these edges which are as if the light's coming from here so the top and the right hand side will get the light so I'm using this lighter coloured orange a fluorescent orange if you go and buy the pens, they've got a new line of pens at the moment bought these from BHMA, if you go to bhma.co.uk they're, they're called Woodcraft for some strange reason but um, they've got a whole range of colours now which are very very good although I can say you can unscrew all the pens and mix your colours up I've got a few greys and things there as well but um, <coughs> yeah the uh, uh, this fluorescent light colour you can fl get fluorescent uh, green and yellow and what have you and they're very good for putting next to these other standard colours and you get a bit of a now I'm there I'll just try and keep that jacket edge going right put that there now we'll add to that in a while it looks a little bit the idea is there so we'll progress with that in a minute right I'm just going to go over this is reasonably dry let's put a bit more white on here for party oh a bit of orange coming through it doesn't matter and uh, again pile it under the top and put a few dots underneath I've got a lot of orange coming off but maybe it'll be alright let's have a look and then if that's not enough we can always put a few dots to give it a bit of sparkle so all the things facing the moon over there and even though it's on top I do remember why I've used orange it's for pumpkins so we've got a bit of space here on each side so I'm just going to uh, put some more information in like you know what time it starts or how much it might cost if it's a, a place that's going to charge these things. I'm going to just put a big pumpkin shape maybe a little bit wobbly and as the pen goes on just try and get the, the direction of the the skin because that will show as well which is good so I'll take this purple and where this is uh, the lights coming off here I'm going to put a shadow this side and just flick it off like that when we get down the bottom so down there so all this is on the left hand side of the letters and underneath them like that so left hand side Now you can see here how this has gone sort of half orange so I'm going to just put some more orange on to add to it that looks a bit better light from over there so I could if I want to see if <coughs> just some white in helps as well so from over there if you want you can just push it in your finger lights coming from there so just do that right we're getting towards the end I've um, put a little light blue flick on there and I'm just going to add a little white to that now to finish that off so that's a sort of an underside sparkle to that ok that's all for now Thanks for those who have bought my uh, DVD already and uh, if you want to look on the website then uh, you can find the details there to buy it. Okay, thanks a lot. See you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.